What's good, Bit Rushers? It's Kyler, and in today's video, I'm gonna go over how to clone a smart contract and how to test that contract using Remix. That sounds good to you. Stick around, but first, please follow me on Twitter at BitRush9000. Please join the Telegram group, also at BitRush9000. Link for both in the description. And please sub to the channel, click the bell to be notified on future content. Here we go. Okay guys, so the first thing we're gonna do is just come over to Google and we are gonna type in Remix, okay? This is going to be the platform that we use to program Ethereum smart contracts. If you come down a little bit, it's not gonna be the first one, there it is. Remix hyphen Ethereum and it is remix.ethereum.org. This is the programming engine for Ethereum and most other smart contracts that are um, forks or subs of the Ethereum chain. To create a new file, we're going to click here. Let's do a new Solidity file. Or I guess we're just going to do a new... Yeah, so come up to the top, click the New File button, click the plus button here, and it will open up a new folder. And we are going to call this clone.sol. I'm sorry, not a folder, a file. Let me take a sip of my coffee here. Okay, so we now have a blank file. This is what's going to be used to um, program our Ethereum smart contract, our Tron smart contract, any kind of smart contract that we want. And we have this little window down here that's kind of like the debug window. And I'm not sure why my bar is it's supposed to hide, auto hide bar, windows, damn windows. All right. So we have a blank contract. We can now interact with that contract. We can launch it onto the test net. We can launch it onto a real network. Um, there's a lot of things you can do from here. You can see we have the Solidity compiler. This will compile the contract. We have the deploy and run. This is, like I said, we can deploy it onto a TETS network. Um, right here we're in the JavaScript environment. We can do a Web3 environment, um, different environments that we can deploy. We can do um, analytics and figure out, you know, how many different things are wrong, how many code errors, things like that. Same here, debugger is gonna tell you what's wrong, where the errors are. We'll get into a few of this stuff in a little bit, guys. And here we can actually run the run the um, contract. Um, contract fetcher. So this one I'm not familiar with. I'm not familiar with all the different features of this, guys. And then uh, plugin manager, I haven't used this at all either, but I believe you can just add a bunch of different programming plugins for depending on what um, network you're on. If you're on Ethereum, there's ones for Ethereum and things like that. Okay, so back to our main page here. Now we need some code. So what are we going to do? If you want to learn to code, guys, I'm actually learning right now. I'm in the middle of taking classes with Ivan on Tech Academy. I highly recommend them, and there is a link in the description. They start at the basic ones for about $20 a month and go up from there. Um, definitely recommended, definitely worth the value, I feel. Um, I'm not that far into the thing. I'm still in the JavaScript class. I'm trying to take my time and do everything really good so I learn. I'm not just trying to blow through it and, you know, get a certificate that doesn't really mean anything to me. I want to learn. So I'm, I'm taking my time and I'm, I'm doing everything the best of my ability. However, I am not on the smart contracts. I haven't learned anything from them on smart contracts. So if you're interested in that, there will be a link in the description. However, this is all self-taught, okay? I'm only on the JavaScript course there, and I'm almost done. And uh, then I'm going to start doing the smart contract. And I'll probably know a whole lot more, and I'll be able to come back and add on to this video. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to take a smart contract. Tronx.world. Tronx was one of the most popular um, smart contracts there was around, and it got shut down because it just grew too big too fast. So they made a few changes to it. And actually, right now, I've been trying to invest. Every time I try to invest in it, they have a timer on it, so you can't even invest unless you're there right when the timer runs out and then it's like capped at a certain amount. So kind of cool, but let's say we wanted to clone this one, right? Because it's a good contract. We come here, check Tron smart contract, right? And it's gonna bring us to Tron scan. And if we scroll down right here under code, 
that's actually the entire code okay so just click here copy come back to remix and paste I now have Tron X world 2.0 smart contract right here guys okay that's literally how easy it is this con I now have this contract okay sometimes there's hidden code and different things that um, they may not give you a hundred percent of the pieces to the puzzle but if you didn't know what you were doing you can now go in here and program this stuff so um, this is already an error right here it's showing um, an error here and I'm not sure why but you can see that marks the code um, we can go through this guys so if you were a programmer and you knew what you're looking at right this is an easier way to kind of go through it than just reading it on here so now I have it in a large screen everything's color coded um, I can change things right and see what happens if I change them and the reason I'm showing you guys this I just want to let you know isn't I don't want to see people go out and clone a bunch of contracts. Like, that's not what I'm doing. There's already a million Tronix clones out there. The reason I'm showing you guys this is to better educate my viewers, to better educate the um, crypto community to how easy it is to do these things. So when you see a new contract, you're like, oh, you know, Tron 2, 3X, whatever. Some random clone of Tron X. You don't just jump in and throw all your money in, okay? you realize how easy it is to just copy and paste this source code all right and so um, once you realize that then you can take some time and start to learn this stuff and that's really where the point is I want people to get in here and mess around with that I want people to read the code to test the code figure out how things work and then make the clone that's a version 10 times better right don't just copy and paste it and do it and for that reason I'm actually not going to show you guys how to deploy this contract all right um, I feel that would be irresponsible to teach you how to deploy a copy and pasted contract. So definitely not going to do that. But if you guys want, we can come here and if we, let's compile. So let's see what, what version of code are they on? First thing we need to see up top here. We'll usually say, so solidity 0510. There we go. And let's just do default, hide warnings, enable optimization, and compile clone. And it's saying that we have um, parse error, expected semicolon, Is that why? I don't know. Did I, I don't know if I did that or that was an error in the code. Anyway, guys, so that's basically it. Um, I just wanted to show you guys Remix and show you how easy it is to use to get in here to program. If you guys want, you can start creating your own smart contracts here. There is a few um, tutorials on Ethereum. If you go to Ethereum GitHub, there's lots of like walkthroughs and things like that on how to do this stuff. Again, I'm not going to show you how to launch the contract or um, go any further than this. I just wanted to give you guys a very, very high level basic view on how easy it is to just go to a contract, go to their um, Tron scan where you can interact with the contract. We can read and write with the contract here, right? And just copy that code out and put it in a remix. And if we wanted to compile it and relaunch it. You would still need you know, some Web3 programming to be able to get the website to run, but you can copy and paste that code too, just as easy, right? Inspect, here we go, source code, we have everything. There's your HTML doc, entire document right here. Um, and, you know, there's different things you can get in right here. Here's the style sheet if you want the style sheet. So this stuff is really easy, guys, to copy and paste and to kind of steal other people's work. Which is, again, why I'm doing this. I'm warning you guys. I'm showing you guys. Make sure you always do your due diligence with contracts. It's super easy for someone to just copy and paste a contract, open it up, make a telegram group, and scam you out of your money. Do your research. Make sure that there's a real team, real developers, 
Um, another thing to look for here that's kind of cool as you see right here, right? Like they spent some time and put put all this stuff in and say like, okay, here's our website. We are an official team. Here's our admin email. Um, all this kind of stuff in the code. Like this is commented. This isn't code. This is just comments. So the better development teams are going to have stuff like this in there in their code when you're looking at it. You're going to see their Telegram groups. You're going to not that that means that they're legit. I could easily change all this stuff out to fake stuff and clone this and you know still scam people if that's what someone wanted to do. It's just a lot less likely if they're putting information in here about who they are and you know what they've done, how to contact them. It's less likely they're going to be a scam, guys. Um, but again. You know, make sure you guys know what you're doing. It's your money. Do your own due diligence. Figure out if this contract is worth investing in. Do a little testing. Open up Remix. Learn how to code. If you guys are planning on putting a lot of money into it, and that's why I'm learning to code, is because, you know, I'm seeing a lot of money flow into crypto. It's going to be a space in the future that there's a ton of money. These contracts will most likely be the future of, like, banking and um, legal contracts and you know all kinds of other things so for me it's an investment in my future learning how to do this stuff again the link for where i'm taking classes ivan on tech will be in the description um but yeah guys hopefully you enjoyed this video you learned something new i encourage you to get in here and play around find your favorite contract copy and paste it in mess with it see if you can change a few things and make it better Hit me up in the comments if you have any questions or any suggestions, any future content you'd like to see. I'm always open to suggestions on that, and that's actually where this video came from. Someone had suggested I show how to do a clone of a smart contract, so here it is. Um, thank you guys for watching. Smash that thumbs up. Share with friends and family. Click the bell to be notified when I launch future content. Happy programming. As always, let's get that coin.